Let's get right to it. Learning the vernacular for a role in IT can be challenging. For example, yesterday I used the term box. A box is a server. Companies have dev, test, and production servers, or boxes. Here's something a network engineer said to me recently during a troubleshooting call that confused a lot of people in the call. He said, Mike, RDP in the box 10 5 14 5 12. I believe SSMS is installed on there. The term RDP is remote desktop. The number he gave me was an IP address, and SSMS is the interface for SQL Server. Now, don't worry. You're going to pick up all this stuff as you go along. Okay, on to tech stacks. All the technologies for a given project are called a tech stack. If you're building a mobile app, it's going to be all the tools and languages you use to build that app. Thankfully, for data professionals, our stack is limited to one layer, the data layer. Before the cloud, tech stacks were more linearly separable. The cloud has blurred that quite a bit. For example, most of my career was a SQL Server DBA. SQL Server is a Microsoft product. That meant companies that use SQL Server would often entirely rely on the Microsoft tech stack. Here's a job for a DBA. Notice that every single tool on here is a Microsoft product. Many of these come with SQL Server. For example, SSIS is a tool for moving data around the enterprise, and SSRS is a reporting tool. That sucks. Microsoft includes these with SQL Server in order to sweeten the deal for companies on a budget. Here's another example. You're studying for Power BI and SQL Server, and you're going to use it to get your first role as a data analyst. Your tech stack is SQL Server and Power BI, and that's about it. Additionally, your tech stack is going to come from one company, and that's Microsoft. The tech stack and machine learning will be much different. For example, you know that Python is the top language for machine learning. Python is platform agnostic, and that means it can work on Mac or Windows, the two most common laptop operating systems in the real world. All right, let's revisit that job for a moment. Did you notice what cloud provider they're using? Right, it's Azure. It's very common for committed Microsoft shops to use Azure because they're already using the Microsoft tech stack. Azure is Microsoft's cloud, and it's fantastic. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the cloud has blurred that quite a bit. There are lots of shops with SQL Server that use AWS. I consulted for a healthcare company that used AWS, and their entire data stack was Microsoft. This company is one of AWS's biggest customers, and all their databases lived on SQL Server. Now, you may be thinking, does SQL Server work as well on AWS as it does on Azure? No, it doesn't. However, many companies don't make their cloud decisions based on one stack, like the data stack. A tech stack is all the technologies used for creating an end-to-end -end project. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.